Hey, what's happening? This is Spud Too Tight, and I'm back with another video um, with the MPC Touch. But this time, I'm going to demonstrate how to create your own synth patches and your own synth sounds in the MPC Touch. And um, coming from a PC and a Mac background, I've been sound designing for some time, creating my own patches and layering them. And, you know, when you're using external MIDI devices, pulling up those patches can be a um, little time consuming. Um, so it was real cool uh, with the technology that we have. We're able to bounce these down into a software format and create our own VSTs. And the MPC Touch software uh, was a home run for me when I'm creating my own synth patch library. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to go through some basic um, steps that I use to create my own sounds. And I'll demonstrate um, some of the sounds that I have in my library. And I've also been included a link um, to download a pack that I created uh, with some of the key groups in MPC Touch and you can upload in the MPC and use it on your own and um, play around with it, create it. I mean, it's there for free. So I just want you guys to check it out and let me know what you think. And um, these are a lot of sounds that I use in my own personal production. So definitely let me know what you think about them. Now I've already created um, a one-shot waveform already and I sustained it about 10 seconds in length um, so I have the length um, to create my loop. So when I hold down the keys, it's going to create a nice, smooth, um, continuous sustain without hearing the start point of the loop. So I just want it somewhere in the middle um, so it transitions really well when I'm sustaining the notes on each keys. So the first thing we want to do is drag the WAV file in the sample edit window. Next, we want to click on the headphone icon on the MPC Touch. That way we can audition the sound that we're dragging in. And by doing that, just press on the screen and you can hear the sound play in real time there. Now, as I mentioned before, it is going back for about 10 seconds. And what I want to do now is create my own um, loop points. So you click on the loop icon and it gives you a different direction. This one is going to go back and forth. So it's going to go at the end of the loop when it plays through. And then right at the end of the loop, it's going to circle back. Kind of in a reverse form. And there's different forms of that. And I'll go through all of them so you can hear the difference between each, each one of them. Now this one is going to go backwards, so it hits the end of the loop and it's just going to go backwards like a reverse form. And it does create a different sound. Um, like I said, it's user preference, how you would like it. Um, but as you see, when it goes back, it's not so bad either. And now it's completely off. I just turned off the loop. So at the end of the loop, it's just going to stop. And I put it back on so the key keeps going to the right and keeps moving forward. That's what sounded the best to me um, when I did the sustain to create this pad in a continuous play. Yeah, it's really smooth. So like I say, it's it's a matter of preference. Um, you just want to make sure that you click on loop lock and have the ability to adjust your parameters using the Q-Link knobs on the MPC Touch and make your adjustments as need be. And again, it's user preference, how you would like it and what sound you're trying to capture. Um, but it's just really nice having that ability to use the Q-Link knobs to adjust fine tuning and really um, honing in on the start and end points of your loops to get that continuous sustain play. Now I'm just going to pull up my uh, key group library that I've created. These are my own um, synth patch libraries that I've created um, different uh, sound effects and really put them together, create my own synth library. Um, so I'm just going to mute the microphone and play through some of the patches that I've created. Let you check them out. And again, the contact description below is going to give you the link to the pack that I put together. Um, so you could download for free and check out some of the sounds that I put in the folders for you guys to upload in your MPC Touch or the MPC software and play them as key groups. Thank you. 
All right, there it is. You know, I spent a lot of time outside of tracking, creating music. I spent a lot of time creating my own sounds so I can create more music and really having my own sound and not using a lot of the factory um, sounds that comes with your basic VSTs and things, which is cool. But again, it's kind of nice having your own flavor and, you know, taking your creativity to the next level. So uh, again, I spent a lot of my time really sound designing um, within the MPC Touch and like I say, there's other samplers out there that work, but, you know, having that hands-on approach with MPC Touch and, you know, the sampler that they've created really gives you an opportunity to really dig in and take the creativity to the next level and create your own patches and things. Again, the description is below uh, with the link. Um, select it, download the, uh, the patch library, upload it in your MPC Touch or software and play it as key groups and go through some of the library that I've added for free for you guys to check out and things. Always comment, subscribe, um, hit me up at any time, spot too tight at gmail.com. And I'll answer any questions or any walkthroughs that you guys need. And I appreciate all the support I've been getting and all the likes and views that I've been getting on the videos. I really appreciate the support and man, we can all stick together as a music community. So I'm always here until next time. You guys keep it tight. Peace.